Monday is National HIV AIDS and Aging Awareness Day, Day, and today we're talking with an LGBTQ activist and writer about his experience living with HIV. Mark King has written very openly about sex, addiction, and living with the disease since, I think I'm right about this, 1985. That's correct. Is that right? Yes. Live in studio to talk about this. My fabulous disease, Chronicles of a Gay Survivor. Mark, it's so great to see you. Thank you. It's nice to meet you, too. And so I really enjoyed reading this last night because I thought that it is a great reflection of the way that we as gay people grow and yes. how, that, how aging changes us and also how the world has changed to meet us it, over, it, over all this time. You are exactly right. I, I've, been, I've been writing in real time. And yep. so that means the way that I thought of all these things, I was a young, young gay man, mm -hmm. uh, you know, who didn't think past the first, the next beer bust, right. you know, in those days. And then you grow and mature. And so to collect them all in one place and see that growth, and also to not reduce us to our great tragedy, because mm -hmm. I did get out of the 80s alive. You did. And there is some dark chapters about And not that. many did. That's right. That's or at right. least not many of us did. Right. 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 Um, yeah, you talk about that, and I think that that's really interesting to reflect on it now, because now we have medications like PrEP, mm -hmm. which keep gay men from getting HIV in the first place, mm -hmm. and you have medications that keep you healthy and unable to spread HIV to other people. The fascinating thing to me about that, so that's U equals U. We've talked about this on the show multiple mm -hmm. times. Mm -hmm. We can't talk about it enough. Mm -hmm. U equals U is... is uh, this really easy way to remember that if you're undetectable, then you're untransmittable. So if you are on HIV meds, which make it so that you cannot see the HIV right. in, in right. these tests, mm -hmm. then you cannot spread it to someone else. Yes. I was just talking to a, a friend of mine who's HIV positive, who met a man in New York City who is in great shape, is educated, had no idea about U equals U. Yes. He's HIV positive. Yes. It's ridiculous that in 2023 that exists. It, it, it is. However, I try to have a generosity of spirit uh -huh. toward people who are ignorant. Not willfully sure. ignorant. Not willfully ignorant, But, no. but it, it's, it's, we have lived in a state of fear mm -hmm. for two generations about HIV, and we've seen some awful things. And it's kind of hard to wipe that out, out, out of your mind. Mm -hmm. You know, if I say to you, but I'm undetectable, and here's the science, and so let's go. Right. Fear We've is been a, trained to be right. afraid. Yeah. Fear is a strong thing. Mm -hmm. You're absolutely right about those facts, and people need to uh, understand them and act accordingly um, and not stigmatize anybody, um, but the fear may take a little longer to go away. Mm -hmm. You write about, of course, losing so many friends yes. over the years, mm -hmm. and there is that thing that pops in the back of your head that says, okay, so why was I not among them? Yes. But it, <clears throat> it, 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 you write about how that eventually becomes something that is not even really worth asking, because you'll never get the answer. Right, I stopped trying to figure that out a long time ago. There are better people than me that, that, that uh, left this earth a lot sooner, uh, that, um, and I just couldn't figure it out. So what I'm left with is, so how do I respond to all of that? Mm -hmm. what, who, who am I now as a result of it? What, what am I left here to do? And, and the best I can come up with is, uh, if I didn't go through all of that so that I could have more empathy for other people, regardless of what their stuff is, then what the hell was it all for? You know, I, I learn how to have more empathy for other people, help somebody else along the way. All the corny things they say about life, guess what, they're true. <laughs> you know, and, and that's what I'm left with. Instead of that mystery I'll never solve as to why am I still here. So there may be a, a young, hot redhead who is 28 years old watching this right now. <laughs> Stop cruising me. No, okay. okay. <laughs> who might be wondering what you have to say to him. Mm -hmm. Knowing um, the path that you went on and yeah. the path that he has to go on still. Right. Be kind and be teachable. It's as simple as that. You know, um, uh, try not to stigmatize other people. It's okay, to, um, uh, it's okay to get excited over the shirtless people and the pretty people, but be kind. Be kind to everybody. Yeah, I think that that's a really good lesson that is hard to learn because when you're a certain age, you think that it's never going to end. Right. But here's the thing. Um, I don't know if you know this, but uh, this all ends the same way. <laughs> yes, that's right. None of us survives this. Yes. And the best case scenario is we're going to become old. 
That's the best case scenario. You know, that is the best case scenario. And hopefully happy. Yes. I feel, I feel, I'm going to keep writing, and I feel like in, in 40 years, I'll just be a hologram <laughs> telling yes. people what it's like to be an elderly gay. You know? Well, as an elder gay, I, I look forward to also being a hologram and interviewing you about your fourth book. That would be great. Okay, so we'll see each other here in 40 years. Okay, it's a deal. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> but for now, your book is out. Yes. It's called My Fabulous Disease. Where can people get it? Uh, they can get it anywhere that the fine books are sold. Their local bookstore, Amazon, anywhere they like. Awesome. Um, yes. Mark S. King, appreciate you being on the show. I appreciate it, too. And we'll be right back. Mark is still here from our segment. Again, My Fabulous Disease is the book that is out right now. I feel so nice and among you. I feel See? like I, I've been invited to the couch at the end of Johnny Carson. You have. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so speaking of that, okay. let me just tell you that this man was on The Price is Right. What was the year? Oh, 1981. What? You can look it up on YouTube. I watched it last night. Mark okay. S. King wins a car on The Price is Right. You won a car. car. Yes. Now, yes. did you take the car or the money? Oh, no, you don't get a choice. You take oh, the I car. Oh, you did. Oh, yeah, you get to go to your local dealer and pick out the, the colors you want. Oh, no. And they, and then, it's and it, custom? Yes. And, they, and it, yes. And then tell, <laughs> tell everyone what you did with the car. He didn't keep okay. it. Well, no, I, gave okay. it, I, I took it from the dealer and drove it to my sister's house into her driveway and gave it to her. Aww. What kind of room. car was it? Come through. It was a 1981 Pontiac Phoenix LJ Coupe. <laughs> wow. And I'm telling you, you look at it, and it's like something on Antiques Roadshow now, of yeah. course, and it tells you a little bit about how long I've been now, around. which game did you play? Lucky initially? Seven, where oh, they yeah. give you $7, you know, and you, you do, you I really do. do. I love the prices, right? <laughs> it's so good. I, I, I had no idea what I was doing. I, I just, my boyfriend was in the audience okay. wearing a matching outfit. Love and uh, shirts. Yes. Love that. And, Tight uh, jeans. And, were they like Wrangler jeans? Uh, they were, were they? probably uh, Levi's 501s. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Local. And uh, the cameraman must have figured that out because yeah. he kept showing Charlie yeah. and the audience throughout. Yeah. And means, what, meanwhile, Bob is on stage saying, so tell me, do you have a girlfriend back home? Oh, like, my boyfriend's right there. <laughs> he didn't but notice the Remember, matching. this is the early 80s, right? Yeah. So yeah. No, yeah. One, yeah. no right. one gay. Right. Yeah. No and one. so he has to just answer? Uh, several. <laughs> Which is true, I can't believe you're having girlfriends. Oh, yeah. yeah. He didn't specify. Oh, you that's right. <laughs> Broken wrist. Broken, Broken wrist. wrist. <laughs> we had a dance class a couple weeks ago, and we broke, those we broke the wrist. <laughs> 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 Pleasure. Have a good weekend, Thank everybody. You. Thanks, Mark. Sure. Take that was a good story.